Well, you know, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I still am in uh, uh, COVID protocol. Um, I tested again this morning. Uh, so this will be my last day. No matter what, I'll be back uh, uh, on at shoot around tomorrow and at the game. Uh, I'll be done with my uh, 10 days. Uh, we have a few other guys that are still out, um, you know, and, and, and the, I guess on the positive no no other new cases, uh, which, you know, which is, you know, something after what we went through last week, uh, that's, that's, that is a positive, uh, uh, you know, I was not able to be at practice yesterday, you know, zoom with the coaches, uh, we met a couple times yesterday. I think I, I know they, they went well. Uh, the players were, um, you know, even though we're, you know, we went through a, a lot last week, uh, they came back to practice uh, ready to go. And knowing that this is uh, an important week and an important game coming up with TCU and um, very, very focused. And, and uh, you know, I would expect a, a good, a good showing. Uh, and again, just hope, Hope and pray nothing that everybody else moves forward. Um, you know, we'd like to get all back together and, and, and see if we can come together as a team and make a make a, a positive run. Thank you, Coach. Good to hear. Um, I'll open it up for questions. So if you just want to raise your hand in the uh, toolbar, we'll get going on questions. Uh, first question to Kellis. Hey, Bruce, glad to hear you're hearing good, uh, feeling good. Um, some players after the, the last game said that, you know, whenever they get healthy and stay healthy, they feel like they can make a run. Do you stress with those guys that the time is now to do that, that, uh, you know, if they want to reach their preseason goals, they need to go ahead and start start doing it now? Yeah, there's there's no <laughs> doubt. I mean, we, you know, we talked back in the uh, non-conference, you know, we, we let – you know, we really felt we let Marquette slip by even without Nigel. Um, you know, that was an important loss, obviously, last week to, you know, to play, you know, without all our people, without the coaches, uh, all the circumstances we went out. It was a it was a tough week. Um, you know, we we played close. We were, you know, played with we were valiant, valiant, uh, whatever the word, cur courageous. Uh, you know, there were a lot of things you could describe it, but you know, we didn't get wins and, and you have to get wins. And this is, uh, you know, this is in, in, a, in a way, hopefully a, a start of a new season. Um, you know, again, we, you know, get everybody back. We, right now we don't have everybody back, but, you know, get everyone back and, and hope we can stay healthy and, 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 and make a big run. There's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty blatant out there that, uh, you know, Tom said the elephant in the room, we, we got to find a way to get a win on, on Friday, on Wednesday. And then, and then moving forward, each game, each game is going to be very, very important. You're going to hit this, this league. Um, you know, I had talked about a few years ago, uh, the year we went to the elite uh, eight, I thought it was the best league I had ever been part of. Uh, I thought all 10 uh, teams could have been in the NCAA tournament that year. Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, whatever it was, seven, eight, and then we had, you know, teams in the lead eight, final four, all that. So, uh, but this year it, it might be just as competitive and, and you had the fight and scrimp and scrape to find every win. And it's, you know, and we've had our chances last week. We didn't, you know, we were close, but we didn't get any, you know, any celebration. So now we got to, you know, all we can do is focus on, you know, trying to figure out how we can, uh, you know, get a win. Obviously there's seems to be one stretch, couple stretches in games where we, we have some mental breakdowns and, and, and we allow runs and, and we got to find a way to solve that problem. Everyone's going to make mistakes. Every, obviously if you have the less mistakes you make, the more games you're going to win, but within a game, you've got to limit those compounding mistakes. We can't let one lead to another to lead to a, you know, four, six, eight point run that changes the game. And that's, that's going to be our, our big thing moving forward. If we're going to make progress. And I know you guys are limited at the five spot right now, but what would you say um, it's kind of like a minimum baseline that you guys are, that you're looking for on a daily basis from that spot moving forward? What do you want to get out of that? Well, I, I hope, uh, you know, we had, uh, I, we had all of them back in practice yesterday. Um, 
you know, for the first time in a while. And, and, you know, even you go back to Oklahoma, I, I, you know, we were, we didn't get much production. What one point out of all those guys. And, and then, you know, we're mad at them the next day we're getting on them. And then it ends up, you know, they all have body aches, they all have issues and they all had COVID. So it, uh, you know, that, that made it, uh, you know, you, you feel bad for them and, and, but, uh, you know, we got it, we have to get production out of them and, and some consistency. And uh, I thought Carlton for the, you know, limited minutes he's played over the last year and a half. I thought he was, he, he did a nice job. He, he blocked some shots the other day, um, you know, but he's just getting a feel. And, and again, it's, you know, I, I try to explain and you can't, if you don't practice, it's hard to be ready to play. And, and he really never got into real practice until December. Um, and then that's been, that's even been choppy. So, uh, you know, for him to do that now to let, you know, we keep saying Davion catch up and obviously he had another setback. Uh, you know, he had some opportunities against West Virginia. Um, you know, we need him to be, you know, he, he, he can move the best. He can, uh, he's got the body, you know, he, he's got the hands. Now we just got to get him to, you know, finish and give us some consistency. Casey's the, probably the most dedicated of all of them. Just his time in the gym, taking care of his body, you know, his knees had the setback. And, and, you know, he's had some pretty nice moments, but we, he can't have the, you know, we have the career high, but you can't have the one or zero the next day. We need, we need something out of each one. And uh, that's, that's, it's going to be important. There's no doubt. Um, and then you got Logan, Logan's given us a few minutes here and there, um, you know, but then for him to, you know, have the setback also, it's kind of put him behind a little bit. So, uh, you know, just trying to catch up, but uh you know, we need, we need, it would be nice to get a little bit of something out of each one and, and to see them, you know, come and give us some consistency. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Good luck tomorrow. Yep. Uh, next question to David Schmail. Hey coach, glad you're feeling better. Um, can you give us specifically which coaches will be back on the sideline and which players will be back that weren't there against West Virginia? Um, you know, we're, we're still, uh, missing a couple of coaches. Um, uh, we won't know until tomorrow. Uh, well, you get a chance what the big 12 did for protocol and, and each league is a little different. Um, the NCA made a suggestion. Uh, Dr. Hamline is in charge of the whole thing. And he's been, you know, communicating with all the leagues and, and each league had a chance to make a decision. Our league said after five days, which is the CDC policy, um, you have to test out. And, and we've, I, I, I've been the, I guess, anomaly that I have, I've gone 10 days and I'm still, still the, not tested out. So uh, a lot of our other guys have gotten out and uh, which is good. And, um, you know, we, we didn't have a full team yesterday, but close to it. And, you know, which, uh, which is, which is good. And they, as I said, we had a good practice. So it's a, it's an interesting uh disease or illness uh it's hard to explain it affects everyone different obviously me it was sleeping uh, it was just the covid fog whatever you want to call it other guys had congestion throat and, and some had fevers and you know so it's just and it's but you know the, the the crazy thing i think the for the young guys it looks like the boosters really helped them for the old guys it hasn't so it uh, but in that we got we are still getting that we still got the virus and uh hopefully it's it's helped us the booster and vaccine helped us uh stay stay away from severe injury uh, illness and you know going to a hospital like you know what's happened around the country so uh, but you know, we're just, uh, I've learned a lot the last week and, uh, hopefully we, the guys have too, and they've, they've stayed, as I said, courageous and, you know, stayed together and hopefully we can have a positive game tomorrow night. Uh, next question, Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how do you, uh, how do you simulate any type of continuity in the current situation? Well, that was the thing. That's the other part of, you know, the dilemma we had last week. You couldn't really practice. You had six, seven guys. Uh, we didn't have, you know, even our walk-ons were out. Our managers were out. 
Uh, you couldn't even have somebody stand there. They didn't have 10 people in the gym at, on, on Thursday that could even simulate that. So, uh, you know, it made it tough. And again, you know, we still played, you know, we played really well in the first half against West Virginia. Um, you know, we, we were all sitting on the, the coaches all talking uh, we were to each other as the game was going on back home. And, you know, we needed a double digit lead. And at halftime, we thought we knew they were going to make a run. Uh, but we just, that, that, that run, we were not able to stop the bleeding. So, uh, but that, you know, that part makes it tough. Uh, yesterday we are you know, as I said, we, we at least had 10 guys. Um, you might have too many bigs and too many of this, but at least you have 10 on the court and they were able to practice and hopefully get some of that. You know, the thing we need to correct is those, those runs, like I talked about. And the, how do you do that? You got to practice five on five. You got to get stops in practice. You got to, you got to execute in practice. And um, obviously we have not been able to do that. So it's just, you know, it's, we, they made, they've done the best with the situation. Now, hopefully we got guys back and we, we learn and watch and take accountability of it and, and, and make, make those strides. One of the videos, I've shown him a bunch of videos over the last couple of weeks. And one of the things that it was about the Chiefs and uh, they talked about them when they were struggling early in the year and their guys just watched the film and decided what they were going to take, be accountable. And, and the, the word I heard was shore up their mistakes. And, and that's, you know, they feel like slowly but surely they, they, they have been able to do that. Obviously they're in the playoffs, number two seed. And, um, you know, hopefully I know Chief fans are hoping they can find a way back to the Super Bowl. And, uh, you know, but that's, that's what we got to do as a group. Uh, you know, we, we got to figure out how to correct some of those mistakes. We're not going to correct them all, but, and then get that mental toughness uh, to be able to get stops and rebounds when it counts and have somebody step up and make plays. I think that's, that's what we got to do moving forward. And current health aside, how would you describe Logan Lander's progress to this stage? You know, I, I Logan was, a, I've said it before, he's way ahead of than what we thought. Um, he cares so much. He's dedicated. He loves it. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, he's got great hands. He can shoot the basketball. He, he He's learning the game. This is all new. He's, he's, a, he's a young man that didn't play a lot of basketball because he played, he was a baseball player. And those last couple of years of high school, he finally, you know, started getting it, really getting into it and putting the time in. And, uh, you know, if we can improve his, his, obviously his strength and his explosiveness, uh, I think he has a chance to be a really good player. How much of a must win situation have you guys kind of played yourself into for tomorrow night? Oh, I, I mean, it's every game is going to be a must win the rest of the year. And, uh, you know, that's just going to be part of it. It's part of our league. I think it's going to be for everybody. I am sure there'll be TCU. Now they didn't play two games, so they're, you know, uh, they just are 0-1, but for them, it's a big game. You know I mean? You can go down the line. Somebody had lost Saturday. The next game's a big game. Um, you know, it's just every game is going to be a, a grind. Every game is going to be, a fight and you got to find, find ways to win. Thanks for your time. Yep. Thank you. Other questions for coach before we get off here? Anybody? Okay. Okay. Coach. Well, I appreciate the time. I think that's everything. Appreciate everybody joining. Thank you, coach.